the idea of the performance is that um, uh, me as a visually impaired person uh, for the first time when I was in London uh, uh, went to see Marina's performance there, her exhibition. That's one of the exercises that you get to do there. You get to walk very slowly. And for the first time I did this exercise with my blind stick and I noticed how, how um, good that was for me because I always loved this idea of this performance but I uh, of this exercise but I always struggled with it because I have a problem with my balance and just having this the stick on the ground my, my, my white stick helped me just to give me that little p b bit of balance to actually be able to do this as an exercise without getting frustrated the whole time because I'm wobbling around and Marina asked me to, to do this as a performance and I said that's very suitable as I, in May this year, was in an accident whereby a bus, a coach bus, drove over both my feet. So uh, I noticed how important walking is for me. Not that I didn't know that before, but uh, the idea of making a performance where you're simply walking and where you're projecting this very strong image of a visually impaired person walking through the space uh, became very important to me to be able to do as a performance, to project that image into the, into the space and to the public, to be able to, um, to see this, this woman, basically, as a strong image. I also have concentrated more on long duration performance. Uh, so this is basically my, my format that I work with. I think it's a lot to do with me as a person because I was always the one who didn't want to have breaks. I was always the one who wanted to work on and let's, let's just continue and maybe go home earlier or whatever. So I think it's just my personality, how I am. And then through studying with Marina, I ended up uh, understanding what this meant to work with this as an art form and it really made me um, and my work focused. And, and to create this one, try to create this one image, for me it's creating the one image over a long period of time, uh, projecting that image to the public. I don't know if I will be interacting with the people physically or... Um, um, but it is an interaction anyway, because you're all, the public is always part of the performance in the sense that they are watching it and you are, you are projecting your image to them. And, uh, uh, I, I know why I'm doing it, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know how I will be doing it until I'm doing it. And I have six hours to find out, so um, maybe I will walk on my own, maybe I will take people by the hand, maybe I will um, try to walk next to them, maybe the people will try to walk next to me. That's, that's uh, the most important thing, it's not about how you do it, it's about that you're doing it and projecting the image and why, why you're doing it. One person who has some sort of disability that is in the space is always noted in one way or another. If, if I didn't have my stick, no one would notice that I had a visual impairment. Um, so it's a very, very special kind of way of being to, to have this, maybe not an option all the time because I don't know how good I would be walking without my stick today, but you could, I could leave my stick and then I would be walking and no one would know. I think it, is, it has become very important because I don't think I would be able to do it because of the balance issue uh, if I didn't have the stick. Um, so physically it's important and uh, conceptually it's very important because I think it is about um, me or about um, this, kind of, this kind of image of, of a woman, a strong woman with, with a, a visual impairment which is me. So it's like, yeah, I'm protecting myself. Yeah. Very different from what I normally do usually. I don't use that so often in my work.